Neural networks mimic the human brain and they are used to solve problems in machine learning. But what is a neural network? Well, a neural network is a network of interconnected nodes where each node represents or mimics a neuron in the human brain. Now that might sound like gibberish to you. So let me show you an example. Let me show you how these systems really work. Okay, so what you're seeing right now is an example of a very basic neural network. So this all probably means nothing to you, but let me show you what, how it really works. So over here, you have X1, X2, they're connected to two circles, and those two circles are connected to Y. So what does this all mean? Well, basically, first, before I even tell you what it all means, uh, I'm just going to give you an example, okay? So uh, let's say you wanted to classify between different car models, all right? Well, as a human, uh, what you can do is you can take features from the car, right? And then you will kind of process it in your brain, think about it, and then you will match that to some car model, right? So, for example, let's say you will uh, get the width and the height of the car. Based on that, uh, you will uh, process that, you'll think about it, and then you'll be like, okay, uh, it looks like this is a Toyota Corolla or something like that, right? Uh, so, Let's see how it'll work in neural networks, because as I said before, neural networks, they reflect the human brain. So over here, we have uh, um, over here, we have X's, right? So what does an X stand for? Well, X stands for input. All right. So I'm just going to match this to input. Right. So what is meant by input? Well, input can be uh is basically features right so uh different features so for example in this case in the car right uh x1 it could be the height right and then x2 it could be the width right so that's the input that's what the uh that's what's given to the network all right then next um what i represented as circles um they are hidden layers all right so a neural network consists of an input layer a hidden layer or hidden layers and then an output layer all right so uh again the input just takes whatever uh the whatever is given right the input uh and then a hidden layer is where all of the magic happens so in the hidden layer uh they'll perform all the mathematical equations and they'll like process all of these inputs uh and then come up with some sort of output all right so that's where all the nitty gritty happens and that's where uh yeah that's where the magic happens basically uh so uh, there are many different things that happen in hidden layers so for example uh there are like uh, activations um and then there's like and then you can like uh flatten images uh you know etc right so there's a lot of stuff a lot of processing basically that goes in the hidden layers and then those uh, after all of those mathematical equations are performed, uh, they come up with an output, all right? Now, this output layer is, well, the output layer. It's like the end result, all right? So, in this case, what will happen is uh, an input, right? The input will be uh, the height and the width of a car, right? And the hidden layer will, will process uh, the uh, height and the width, and then it will do all of these mathematical equations to finally, uh, to finally really... Um, give an output right to match the input to the output all right so that's basically how a neural network works now there are many different types of neural networks there are cnns rnns um a bunch all right dnns uh there's a lot of different neural networks um but uh that is how a neural network works on the basic level let's get into deep neural networks so a deep neural network or dnn uh, is basically the exact same thing except with a lot more hidden layers uh, so normally when you are using uh, deep neural networks you normally have a ton more inputs and a ton more features uh, you probably like it, it's more complicated uh, but that's when you use dnn so uh, basically you'll just like uh, have multiple of these hidden layers so that uh, you can do more of those like mathematical equations so you can lead to a better uh, accuracy in terms of the output so that is how a neural network works. Uh, I know this might be kind of like confusing. Um, in the beginning, you really have to think about like neural network as just like a blank 
space or something um unless you like unless you understand it uh but yeah i hope you all enjoyed uh please stick around for the next video in the next video i'm actually going to be getting into uh like doing some practical machine learning and actually applying these neural networks to real life tasks so again hope you all enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one peace